Oh, what's up everybody? I'm Matt Gary, and on this episode of Coding with the Force, I'm going to show you how to use the safe navigation operator in Apex so that you can reduce the amount of null checking that you do in your code base. Alright everybody, so just like with every other video I do, I first want to tell you why you would care to use uh, the thing I'm about to show you how to use. <laughs> um, so the primary reason why you'd want to use the safe navigation operator in Apex is because it's going to save you a lot of code. Um, previously, before the safe navigation operator came out in the last uh, Salesforce release, you had to do null checks for everything. Um, and now you don't have to do null checks for quite so many things so it will save you a lot of you know checking for whether or not an object is null before you go in and try and pull a field value from that object or maybe you're getting a record from a map and you just want to use a dot operator to get the name immediately well in the past you'd need to check whether or not what you received from the map is null and then and then grab the name from you know whatever record uh, you were you were evaluating in that map um, but now you don't have to do that so let's just go into some code examples to show you exactly what I'm talking about so the first thing that we're gonna do is create an apex class if you don't know what I'm using here this is Visual Studio Code I have a video showing you how to set this up for a Salesforce project um, please go check it out if you are a little lost right now. <laughs> um, it'll get you up and running in just a couple minutes, 20-ish uh, minutes. Uh, all right, but the first thing we'll need is, you know, uh, a Visual Studio Code project, or you could technically do this in the Dev Console if you want. It's not like I'm going to be doing anything all that complicated, just showing you how this works. Uh, and I'm going to create a new Apex class called Safe Nav Example. And I'll put it in the class directory. And so the first thing I'm going to do is move this mic out of my way a little bit. And, or more in the way of my face. We'll see. And uh, we're going to write a couple methods here. So the first one I'll do is a public void. I don't need this to I'll make this static. Public static void no safe nav. And this example method will have our non safe navigated code. And then we'll have another method here that shows you the safe nav example. And we'll do a few of these examples, but this uh, this should give you a general idea. So if you didn't know, in SoQL you can do wonderful things where you just query uh, for a um, record and then put a dot operator on the end of it and grab a field from that record. So I'll show you what I mean if you're not familiar with that. Um, <clears throat> maybe I just want to get the name of an account, so I'll do string count name equals and then I can do a SQL query that just says oh, select ID name from the account object where whoa, where name <laughs> equals uh, we'll say Kevin because I've been watching a lot of uh, home alone <laughs> and then at the end of this you can put dot name or not here we go dot name and in the event where this returns nothing you'd ideally also want a limit of one so in the in the event that this returns nothing uh, right now with no safe navigation here this is just going to crash and burn but if we did this exact same thing down here in the safe nav and right here where we have this dot operator that allows us to grab the name directly from the SQL query, we can put a question mark 
or our safe navigation operator. And what this will do, uh, as we'll see here in just a minute, is instead of it causing the code to just crash and burn and give you a null pointer exception, which it will do up here, uh, it's going to determine, you know, this returned nothing, so we can't get the name, and it's going to make the account name equal to null. So we'll even do a debug system debug and show you what the account name evaluates to. This is the account name. So I obviously don't have an account named Kevin in my system, unfortunately. You know, maybe someday I'll get lucky enough. Uh, and then I'll just put this up here just to be consistent, although this will die before it ever gets to the debug. And once I save this, I'll create a quick script for us to test. So we'll do safe nav example script. And within here, we'll do safe nav example dot no safe nav. So we'll try the no safe nav version first. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we executed this anonymous Apex right now, you're going to see that this failed to run. And it's going to throw this awesome thing that, you know, if you've done Salesforce enough, you know, this is super common and very frustrating. List has no rows for assignment to S object. So what you would have to do here, you know, without the safe navigation operator is you'd remove this and you'd say, if count name is not equal to null, then you'd also need to make this a least an account, but you probably want to do a list um, of accounts, and we'd make this an account list. And we'd say, we'd actually do. <laughs> something more along these lines where we'd say if the account list um, you know isn't empty then uh, string account name equals account list zero dot right so obviously a lot more code involved you have to um, first make this a list even though you're only retrieving one record and um, you need to check whether or not that list is empty and then you can grab the, the name here. Um, a little bit more complicated, right? That's at least a couple more lines of code uh, as opposed to this down here. So if we run this one more time after I save it, um, we'll now see that this code doesn't fail, although this change this to something like list size because um, account name is no longer declared up here which is important um, so okay that deployed and if we run this script again we'll see that it runs successfully this time but obviously it took quite a bit more code and of course we had nothing returned to us in the list um, even though that debug is very confusing at this point. Uh, now let's try our safe nav where we have effectively the same thing except for all we've done is added this question mark that allows us to safely navigate uh, without you know code failures because of nulls. So if we change this to safe nav and we execute that you can see it successfully ran and that's just a single line of code uh, we can see you know that the account name evaluated to null so right here this ran and the account name evaluated to null because we didn't actually return anything from our SQL query so we couldn't get a name from it which is great um, it allows you to do what previously took four lines of code at least uh, in one line of code. Just 
with an extra little question mark uh, between your SQL and the dot operator. Um, I'll give you one more example of this before I call it quits here. We'll do a mapping example. If you guys didn't know, you can do a similar thing with maps. So we'll say public static void safe nav map. And we'll create <clears throat> another method uh, without a map. Uh, well, without a safe navigation on our map. And I can type maybe. It's just not my day for typing, that is. OK. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just initialize a map. So we'll say uh, map. ID, account, account map equals, wow, new map ID account. And if you weren't aware, you can initialize a map directly from a SQL query, which is pretty convenient. So I can just say select ID name. Name from account where name is equal to, and I have one in here named S Force. Um, so we'll just grab that one account and I'll put a limit of one right there. And then we'll just, just so I can illustrate this point, I don't know that you would have necessarily ever need to do this. <laughs> Or that this is a preferred way to do this but an easy way to illustrate what I'm going to show you here in a second is I'm just going to create an account list and grab every account in the system and I do need the accounts name okay perfect and then what we'll do is we'll create a for loop and iterate over these accounts And we'll say um, maybe uh, at some point we want to get the the name from the account map. But the account map obviously only has one account in it, whereas the account list has everything in it. Um, if I did the get method, so I say account map. Actually, we'll just do a string count found name is equal to count map dot get and we'll grab our account based on its ID because that's how we have it declared up here and we want to get the name <laughs> I just cannot type today and we'll get the name of the account here um, <clears throat> and use the safe navigation operator and we'll output what we get here. We'll say this is the name of the account. And we'll do account map. OK, perfect. So um, I'll show you really quick that this works um, and that you know, for all of the accounts where nothing is found, this will output null. And for, you know, the, the one time where we find the S-Force account, it'll output S-Force. So let's just check that out real quick. And I don't remember what I named this. Safe nav map. And if we execute that, <clears throat> you can see that every single time nothing was found, it gave us null, but when we found S-Force, it gave us the S-Force one, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want, um, and it's in about as small of an amount of code as we could get it done with. So alternatively, if you didn't have a safe nav and you wanted to do this exact same thing, if we brought it down here, <clears throat> and just to illustrate that this would definitely break, if we remove the safe nav here, and it finishes saving, you know, 
at some point. Um, then we can execute this and see that it failed. And so, of course, it failed because of the uh, classic attempt to dereference a null object on line 31, which we can see line 31 is exactly where we try to pull the name. So what we would have to do instead of that is we would have to do, uh, we would have to create an account instead of just, you know, grabbing the name. And we'd say, if account found is not equal to null, then we can get a string called account found name and set it equal to account found dot name. Um, and then we could output this. So as you can see, that added, um, you know, at least three lines of code, if you count brackets. Um, and gives you an extra null check there that you don't, you don't need these days. Uh, historically, like I said, in Apex, you had to do this for everything. And it was frustrating. Um, as you can see, that now passes, and we only get the S-Force output because that's the only one that we found. But that being said, um, obviously, you can now do this quite a bit easier without the, the need to check for a null um, explicitly. So the safe navigation operator really can save you a lot a whole lot of time, uh, you know, a whole lot of code and, and time doing development, uh, especially with, uh, you know, integration work. If you've ever done integration, uh, integrations, um, you can receive JSON responses that have, you know, just a subset of the data, you know, the, the data that will get returned is not always consistent. So it's, um, it will oftentimes return you nulls for tons of things that on another, you know, from another JSON response that you get, you, you don't have nulls and you want to place those in an object or whatever. Um, if you've never done that work, <laughs> you know, I guess you're lucky. Or, you know, if you're me, I'd be pretty sad if I hadn't done a lot of integration work. But well, guess what I'm saying is, this, especially with uh, integrations from Salesforce um, to external systems, uh, will save you a lot of time. So a lot of null checking that you will no longer have to do if you just use the safe navigation operator. Um, all right, guys, that is it for this episode. Uh, if you want more Salesforce-related uh, videos, make sure to subscribe. I do at least one a week. Um and uh yeah that's it i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching